Hello guys, we're back for round two of our cube draft. And it looks like we got our first mulligan. Uh, this is better, I guess. So I play the L for the soul ring. If I play the soul ring, then next turn I could play a four drop. Or I could Elf and Moldrifter. If I play the Elf, and next turn I can Soul Ring and still play a 4 drop, so it really doesn't matter. Let's play the Elf because I feel like it uh, plays around Artifact Destruction, which I think is a little bit more common than killing a 1 1. Alright, he killed my 1 1. Fair enough. Either way, we don't really have a 4 drop to ramp into, so not too sad. Uh, if he's playing Burn, though, I'm pretty happy with just evoking this. He's just gonna kill it anyways. Might as well, uh, draw into some action. Of course there's a good draw. Maybe he's not playing, like, straight Burn. Cloudscape, that's a good one. Freilis. Sounds good to me. Alright, ship it back. How many counters does that have? Two. It's just gonna bounce one of my creatures, it's not the end of the world. Unless I need that creature, we'll see. Oh, it's target permanent, so we could actually just bounce the Planeswalker. So that's interesting. So I play Garrick or Freilis next turn. I just tap my Soul Ring. Oh, really? Burned my Elf. That was surprising. Make another elf. Make a beast. Alright, now what you gonna do? So next turn he gets to Cloud Skate, so I gotta keep that in mind. Could ultimate Freilis here if he doesn't do damage to it. Draw. There'll be three cards, because I'll probably just make a beast with Garrick. Or I could just draw three cards with Garrick and make another elf. Don't really know if one's better than the other. Tap my island, sure. So he's got a six drop here. Exalted Angel. That's interesting. It's not a very good card for this cube, but I don't have an answer for it, so I can't really complain. So what do I want to do here? Pick up Freilis, then he can't kill it. So let's tick down Garrick. Nothing. It's really hoping for black, untapped black, so I can Shriek Maw. We'll be able to Shriek Maw next turn. I don't really need that. I mean, I guess we can keep it. Uh, I don't want it. Never mind. Um. Can't keep up Mystic Snake. Let's make an elf. Just play more ramp, I guess. All 
Alright. Kind of overcommitting hard to the board here, but... What do you do? Bounce for Elise and attack Garrick? Looks like it. Probably just hold for Elise. I don't really need her out anymore. We don't have an answer to both fires, which is awkward, but we could Shriek Maw the Exalted Angel and attack Ral with the Beast. Oh, Ral's gonna be uh, bigger. Plus, he could just burn the Beast if he wants. We'll see. See what he does. Alright, he went with Upticking Ral. Another 6 drop. Frost Titan. That's not nothing. Tap down the Beast. Tap down Soul Ring, I guess. If he taps to my black, I'll be pretty sad. That's like. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I have Kill Reason. Alright, he went with Soul Ring. If he attacks with any two things, then I probably just Shriek Maw the blocker, but if he only attacks with one, then I have a decision to make, I guess. Hmm. It's really conservative by him. I guess it's smart. So Shriek Maw. One, two, three, four, five. So I can kill the Shriek Maw here. I don't have an answer to the Angel though. It has two flyers, we'll do some damages. Uh, I'm gonna hit the angel. I guess I have down one of my permanents every turn. I think I can survive that. Let's play signets. And another elf. Man, where's our nut opposition draws? That's all I want. Just want one opposition draw with this deck. Well, F6. Let him do what he wants. She can walk and pressure Ralz Eric. But Ralzaric can also just kill Shriek Maw, so that might be what he should do here. We know he has two spells in hand because he's been using Ralzaric for mana and not playing lands. So unless he drew a land this turn, everything in his hand is a spell. I think next turn we replay Frailies. Try and use her to get some more card draw. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, we got tons of mana, so we can play Frailies and keep Mystic Snake up. Shouldn't be a problem. Lumbering Falls is hexproof, right? Yes, so it's not unblockable. What you gonna do, opponent?
We've got like an okay looking board, but it's really like this Frost Titan we just can't do anything about. Ever. I mean, yes we can, but we need to draw draw an answer for it. Because we have we have Master Monder and Opposition and Karn as our three answers for Frost Titans, so we just need to draw one of them. And we know we're drawing Awakening Zone next turn. Which is neither of those things, by the way. If you were if you weren't sure. What is our opponent doing? Come on, man. I don't got all day. I gotta leave soon. And I'd really like to play all three rounds first. The nice thing about these leagues, I guess, is I don't have to play all three rounds right now. I could leave after this round, come back, and play later tonight. Which is cool. But I'm gonna be out all night. So I wouldn't be able to play again until tomorrow. I'd much rather just finish all three games today. Or all th three rounds today. We'll see. So, this guy's taking forever. What are you guys up to? How's life? How's your, your New Year's? I know it's already happened for you guys. Today is January 1st for me. I guess you guys can see that, huh? <laughs> I forgot you have my uh, taskbar at the bottom there because of the way I record. Not that I care. See all the wonderful games I play? Not really. Hey, he's back. What's he gonna do? I was having so much fun rambling about nonsense, though. Tap down my beast. Okay. Interesting choice. This dude have like all six drops and just not six mana. It's kind of funny. Oh, that's a four drop. Pretty much just represents mana for him, right? Trinket Mage. Can't pressure these Planeswalkers. <laughs> got a Mox Ruby. Alright, dude, you got your mana. What are you gonna do with it? Tap down my Shriek Maw. Alright, he has come to all of the right conclusions. I have to replay Frailies. Tick her up. Um, play... Awakening Zone, and still hold up Mystic Snake. Can attack a Ral. Force him to jump block. Oh, we're not drawing shit, though. So I pick one to kill. Definitely will kill the Cloud Skate. We already did you right, yep. Alright, let's pass. Probably gonna have to chump block the Frost Titan with a druid here. It's not the end of the world. Gonna counter basically anything he plays. He attacks with Frost Titan here. What is this? Okay. 
Myriad Angel. Well, another flyer, man. Stop with these flyers. Can't deal with them. Do I counter this? I guess. Can't deal with the flyers. Curious what he has in his hand. He still hasn't played a fifth land, or a sixth land, so... I guess two spells. Doing three damage to my face. Oh no, Fraley's. Oh, Chandra did two damage. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, how did she get that low? Blades Blazer. It's not exactly a high priority counter, but. I just want bodies in play at this point. Because we gotta pressure these planeswalkers. Tap down Shriek Maw again, probably. Alright, I'll jump block. Prime time on top, huh? Alright, so how do we want to do this? We want to send... Um, attack Ral, attack Ral. So that should die no matter what. Attack Chandra, attack Chandra, attack Chandra. See what he does. Got a path to exile. Swords. Okay. So you just trade, yeah. Alright, Ral is down though. So that was fine for us, I think. Next turn we kill Chandra. Mana drain. That is a sweet card. And he's not gonna be able to cast it. Alright, he's empty handed. Tap down Shriek Maw again. Alright, so he has no cards in hand. One, two, three, four. We just send those four guys in. Alright, looking good. Prime time. Let us go with Bayou and Temple. We definitely want that on top. If that resolves, we should win with this board state. And resolve it will. It is pretty good against what we're trying to do here, though. I'm not sure it's enough. I want to block. Oh, did I click through blocking? Oh well. How sad. 
So you do kill, kill a couple elves, do you kill Shriek Maw? What did you tap down? Kill some elves. Alright, stop at his upkeep. Oh, he's keeped. Alright. GG. Begin sideboarding. So what do I want to do about his board? He had a lot of planeswalkers, so Revoker seems good. Um, artifacts... maybe it's worth bringing in Nature's Claim. I don't care about scavenging his Beast Within, maybe. Song of the Dryads, maybe. Let's go down to Jace. And one elf. Try it like that. Alright, this hand is fine. Not a bad start by him. I don't need this here anymore. Alright. Geist. Ooh, that's unfortunate. So we have an answer on our whole deck to that. Uh, I'd like to draw Maelstrom Pulse. Pretty much just need to be able to double block it. But this might be a quick beating. Okay, very quick beating. So we Maelstrom Pulse the Thunder Maw here. Um, we have to block too. I think we're just dead, actually. I don't think it matters, right? Yeah, I'll scoop. Uh, we're dead. Because the amount of damage you'd get through, if we had to sacrifice our Elf, we wouldn't be able to catch up on the board anyways, so there's really no point. No point in continuing that one. I don't think we bring anything in. We don't really have anything to bring in against that, so... Pop into the next game. Oh, our opponent had way too quick a start for us there with the Mox. Sand is unfortunate, but I think I keep it. Jostle ring. Nope. Alright, uh. Alright, Shikmal's not bad. Ancestral visions. Hmm. We 
We need to hit some action. Silver and counts. So next turn we can Green Sun Zenith for prime time, I think. Now we're one short. Just streak all that. Or we just play Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, we don't have double blue. Just kidding. Um, yeah, I'm good with Shriek Maw here. Get some beatdowns in. What you got? Five drop? Creator's Claws. Okay. He scoops. All right, went two one this round or two zero this round. No, wait, two one. I don't remember. We lost a game in there, I think. Yeah, that super aggro game. All right, we went two one though. So we are two zero overall, which was super unexpected considering how rough the first uh, first round was for us. Technically, like winning, <laughs> pretty much winning by technicality there, with literally the last second on the clock. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in round three. Bye.